If you use Confluence, you know how hard it is to maintain and track all the content in a space. You have to know what pages need updating, which ones aren't getting used, which ones need a new owner. And up until now, that's been pretty hard. You'd have to just go open pages or fumble around in analytics. But there's a recent feature called Mission Control that will make your life a lot easier. So here, I'm going to show you what it is and why I think it's so useful for space admins. Let's jump in. Here we are in Confluence Cloud, and this feature is available in Premium and Enterprise. I'm just going to go to a space and open up my space settings and look for Mission Control, and I'll just open it up. What we're going to see in here is a lot of useful information to managing the space. Right at the top, we're going to see some high-level numbers, how much content is there, and how much has this increased, how much is it getting viewed, and then how much of it is new. These three numbers are important because they tell me the relative health of the space. Is it expanding? Are people actually using it? And are people adding to it? Now there is one feature in here that you can't see, and that is a little bar that can show up at the top with a specific alerts for admins. So the system will also flag areas of interest as it finds them for you to see right at the top here. Next, I have two other important pieces of information related to access. On the left, I see external access. Have we turned on guests or anonymous access? or public links. These are all important because we want to control this access. We want to make sure we know who is in the space, and if it is open to external access, that we're properly controlling what goes in there so we don't accidentally expose something. So it's good from my mind that this is at the top so we can clearly see is anonymous access on, and that then cues me in to be much more careful in the space. Next to that, I have a list of space admins, and I can click on view all to see all of them. But this is another thing we want to keep an eye on. Who can come in here and modify or change settings? Maybe we don't want everyone to have that access, and here we can clearly see who does. Now under this is a lot of analytics and metrics and numbers that will help us manage the space and help uncover things that we couldn't easily see before. We do have some options in terms of time scale. Do we want to see this monthly, weekly, daily, and then over how long of a time period do we want to see numbers? The first one is just the number of views we get. And this is a great number to have available because it tells us how much is the space getting used. Are people actually coming into Project jQuill and looking at stuff? Or has it kind of flatlined? Are they kind of done looking at it? This lets me know as the admin that maybe I should consider archiving the space. Or maybe the content in here isn't as useful as it should be or I think it is. And right next to that I can see the most viewed pages. I like to see this because it tells me what are people really going to in the space. And are there some tweaks or changes I should make to add more stuff like that to attract more views or to make it more useful? Under that, I have two metrics related to content. How much has been created and how much has been updated. Now, for me, this is useful because it tells me how active and alive the space is. Are people coming in and actively adding to it? Or are they making sure that it's up to date by modifying existing things? If I see this number start to dip, I start to ask myself, is the space maybe starting to slow down a bit? Or are we not paying enough attention to updating and maintaining it? So if I see these start to decline or start to trend downwards, I start to ask around and see how people are using the space to see if maybe I need to encourage more people to come in and update content, or maybe if we should consider cycling the space out. And last, we have this, the total content in the space. How many pieces of content exist? Again, if I see this start to plateau, it suggests maybe the space is I becoming mature and I don't have to do much with it, or maybe I should consider archiving it or moving it somewhere else. For each of these, we can view more detail. So for example, we could see exactly what content was created in analytics. And I get a little bit more information here, like who's seeing it the most and who's the most active contributor. So mission control does tie right into other features to help me understand more about what's going on. But the real intention of this is just a high level view of how everything's going. At the bottom are two very important and interesting metrics for me. The first are inactive pages. And this is anything that hasn't been updated or modified in the past six months. This is important because it will let me know, is there stale content? If no one's looking at it and it hasn't been updated, do we really need it? Is it something that I should have or should I archive it or move it somewhere else? And then I can actually click in and see those pages. Underneath that, I'll get a list of pages without owners. The page owner is the person responsible for maintaining that page and answering questions. So if that person's inactive, I should go to that page and find a different owner. And as a space admin, I can reassign them. So these are two very important things to keep an eye on. 
The first, because it will tell us, is content being used or should it be cycled out? And the second tells us, is the page being maintained and does someone have active ownership of it? Two very important things to make sure we have a successful knowledge base and confluence base. So that is mission control. Again, it is a very useful dashboard for space admins to go into and to check every week or on a regular basis. I have found it very helpful in keeping an eye on my spaces and helping me identify areas where we can improve. Whereas before this feature existed, it was very challenging to do this. We got a little bit of it in analytics, but we also had to just dig around and find all of those pages we wanted to update. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe, share it with your friends. And I'm looking forward to seeing you around here again soon. Thank <laughs> you.